Hey guys, what's going on? It's Roger Death here again, and we are doing some more peep mode spectating once we load in. Everything I chose to go back to this is because I'm not really in the mood to play a game right now, and especially with my internet still being kind of... Sometimes it lags, sometimes it doesn't. I know the reason why we're working on straightening it out. Uh, I, it requires a call, at least one other call, to um, a service provider that we have here. And apparently I'm not going to be the one that lags out this game. But I am working on getting that taken care of, and that means that uh, I'm going to be fine. I just want to observe. Ever on Bronze League. So. What? Oh, that's right, I'm not king. <laughs> I go by ho I, I go by king on some things, and, and that's just why. Like I see King and I'm like, what? Why I, I haven't even decided to. So there's lots of people that want to play. We've even got a grandmaster here. In Claire. Somebody's lagging. Pretty good. So we're going to see Claire vs. Ice Dragon, a ZVZ. Uh, it's going to be a Masters vs. Platinum. Why is this game it's still so laggy? But I do like the... Uh, again, I have not used... I haven't used this in a while, so we're going to see how well... I don't, wanna, I don't, I don't care. I want to look at production. Yeah. Very nice. So, in the bottom, we have the Orange Zerg Ice Dragon EG. And in the completely opposite location, in the top, is our greenish... Oh, no, that's purple. My bad. I'm, I'm seeing the green there. It's our purple Zerg... Uh, Claire. I can't remember who said they were, they were what. So we can look and see here. Ice Dragon is the Platinum, so Claire is our Master's League. And so we can look and see exactly where they're, you know, it's over that screwing up. And so far, nobody's really doing anything re is really going on. We see Claire is taking the gas first, whereas we're going to see Dragon go with a spawning pool first. I love that it says the name of the building above it when it's being constructed. That That is so cool, cause especially with Zerg. It, it, it's, it's really... It's really bad. I... If, if it gets to the point where it's, there's two... If it gets to the point where it's one vote, I will I will kick. Meanwhile, it's starting to lag again, apparently. And I think we're going to be see. Yeah, we're okay, there we go. Control-K. We're going to... No, no, I'm going to Control-K. And we're going to kick RTM. Oh. RTM was kicked. Okay. Before I even got there. So, he's gone, so we don't have to worry about him. And we're going to see the fast uh, metabolic... No, that's not... Yeah, it is metabolic boost. Met uh, speed, zerg speed, zergling speedage. Spawning pool is done. Yeah, it is metabolic boost. Is done for Ice Dragon. We see him taking his first expansion. The meanwhile, we do see lots of link, well, some links, a queen, and the metabolic boost being produced for Claire. He's he she is going to go for a uh, fast. It's going to go for the faster uh, damage push instead of going with a expansion. Never mind, they're getting the expansion right now. And so we're going to see that uh, I think Claire's going to spot this here. It's, it's hard to. Let's see. Let's just observe Claire right now. Yeah, so Claire knows about this expansion. 
as I do a leg spike. So we're going to go back to everyone. So this overseer is getting sacked, is going to die, um, or overlord. It's not really going to see anything, and but it will do a supply cap on Ice Dragon. Meanwhile, we do see links from both players engaging at their front. And Ice Dragon just completely got outplayed. Uh, he really doesn't have a counter that aside from trying to pull queens. He knows he's done. He, he can't get the queens out. This finish, which means it's dead. Ice Dragon ducks out. So we're going to be seeing Claire continue playing. And I feel sorry for whoever plays Claire. Because Claire is obviously a Masters. Which means we're going to see a young done goofed. You done goofed. <laughs> Duh. Play Claire. So it's going to be a Terran versus Zerg. I'm going to do two games because they are going pretty quickly. If it's another one, then. Nope. We're going we're gonna to keep going. Yeah, Zerg. Claire is extremely favored in this matchup. So, in the same position, Claire spawns in the exact center of the top of the map. I'm betting on Claire. Bet everything! <laughs> Everybody else is. Meanwhile, we see you done goofed in close by air proximity as the Terran. <laughs> the only race that matters, Terran. OP bastards. I just love how much UI we have. This is just stupid. I mean, I, I, I've bet everything on Claire, and Claire is totally going to kick butt, I think, here. Again, this UI is a little slow to update, but... So we're going to be seeing... Yeah, so Claire knows exactly where his opponent is. So does Yenna and Goofed. Because the close bike proximity air, we can even sees the observer already knows where his opponent is. I wonder if we're going to see Claire if we're going for more early game zergling pressure, or if we are going to say, or say, if we're going to be seeing more more of a uh, offensive. Oh no, we're going to see a fast expand. Very good move, I think. And it's still super laggy. Nothing really is going on. Big deal. Uh, obviously the hatchery, or the, um, wow, double barracks. One being proxied even for you done goofed, so we're going to see. I don't think this should be an issue uh, for Claire. Uh, Claire has obviously experienced this before. We can see the extractor before pool. I really don't think that was a good idea, considering we're, we are going with this hatch first. We need to scout out. We need to see these things. The drone gets in and sees that. Yeah, there's one being built, but, you know, spawning pool is down. It's going to take a long time to get up. There's going to be a lot of Marines over here if he does not hurry up. Lots of of SCVs being moved over, I suspect, f to kind of do um, some interference. Yeah, Claire is not looking to be in a good position right now. It's very unfortunate to be in, in, in Claire's spot. It's just because there's no real defenses anywhere. Oh, and there's the bunker. The bunker is going down at the front top of the ramp, or bottom of the ramp. Gonna try and block it off, but great surround on those SCVs. They are going to all die. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, beautiful surround. It's going to go straight for the Marine. Going to cut a couple hits off. This is a ve uh, it's pulling, he pulled guys off, but he's got a very good defense. He's got eight lings on the way though. This is going to be pelled off nicely by Claire. 
lost a lot of mining time though, which is going to be, which is not very good at all. Lost a few drones and zerglings, uh, but obviously there's a lot more links, and, and this will. Oh no! One managed, to, one marine managed to get into the bunker, but it doesn't matter. That bunker gets quickly taken out, and the marine eaten alive. Another marine coming in from the as reinforcements. I'm not entirely sure that this is going to work out too out in um Yudan Goof's favor. He sacrificed a lot of SCVs. <laughs> And unfortunately for him, I mean, yeah, he can mule, but there's he's just now starting his gas. He's going to be stuck on Marines for a, a while now. So, of course, he's just going to float the barracks away. Cancel that. Yep, good decision there, I think. Um, he re we need to see a lot more drone production from Claire now. But it's just not unfor It's just not going to work right now. He's checking around just to make sure. Oh look, there's the barracks. It's floating already. So this should hold off uh, a zergling attack pretty well for right now. I mean, there there's not tons out on the field. Yeah, we just see massive amounts of drones. Massive and massive amounts of drones. Very beautiful. And we're going to be seeing, sticking with Zerglings, I think, for at least a little bit. The Metabolic Boost did finish, so we do see Speedlings out on the field. They are obviously fairly speedy. Uh, nobody really has any patience to watch, sit and watch. Claire knows what he, she's doing. I, I'm just going to use he, she, because I don't know if, if Claire is really... A chick or what the deal is uh, but yeah that, that push did some good early damage but it's just not enough late game damage for, for this Terran player he's gonna be in very bad position right now very very bad uh, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere near where it should um, just because we do have such a huge lead here by Claire even though they Claire is sticking on Zerglings. He is getting that Evolution Chamber right at the front set. Oh! Evolution Chamber wall-off. And you can start getting upgrades with that. This is actually a very good wall-off, I think, because, yeah, like I said, you can get the upgrades, and it'll be absolutely perfect. Supply blocked, of course, um, for you done goofed. Um, a lot of Marines, though. We do see 17 Marines right there, but that means that there's not that ma Oh, man. That that Overlord's just gone. But he had... There was supply to spare. Spinecrawler going up at the front. Fine. We do see... Yep, the Baneling Nest. Where is the Baneling Nest? The Baneling Nest is... I am missing it somewhere. Where is the Baneling Nest? Well, there's mailing this coming up somewhere. Um, if I don't... Oh, right there. If I don't fail. That's a lot of stuff, though. This is definitely an all, and there's only a handful of things back at base mining. But that is a lot of Zerglings. I think... The, oh. Oh. I mean, with, especially with the spine crawler here. Spine crawler this many lings start morphing more into bane lings it's just over it doesn't matter oh my god he even stimmed this is game here absolutely 100 percent game very well played from claire there was just nothing that that you done goof could do gg i got all my money back and extra i think we have time for one more round guys one more. But I'm going to do that in another video, just so that this one doesn't get too long. Uh, for this video, this is Roger signing off.